assalamu alaikum students today we discuss about the nil, nilpotent tnom and strip tnom nilpotent tnom T norm delta is nilpotent if for B is not equal to one B power n is equal to zero for some positive integer n. where n depends on b where n is a uh, positive integer and b is fuzzy number so we say that delta is nilpotent if for b not equal to 1 b power n is equal to 0 where n is positive integer now we uh, define the strip T norm. The T norm delta is strict. If for b not equal to 0 b power n is greater than 0 for some positive integer in n for some positive integer n here we see that if uh, for example what is b power n if we see that b power 3 it means b is fuzzy number b power 3 means b delta b delta b so this is uh, the, uh, this can be defined like b power n so we take delta n times with b okay now we solve an exercise for nilpotent tnom exercise prove that delta 1 is nilpotent T norm is nilpotent T norm solution now we solve this exercise first we define delta 1 that x delta 1 y is equal to x plus y minus 1 max of max means maximum value of x plus y minus 1 comma 0 so this is our delta 1 now we define that it is nilpotent t norm let x is not equal to 1 this implies x delta 1 x is equal to max of x plus x minus 1 comma 0 this is equal to max of 2x minus 1 comma 0 
so if x is less than equal to 1 by 2 that means if x is less than 1 by 2 or less than equal to 1 by 2 then it will become 0 if it is 1 by 2 if it is less than 1 by 2 we put here 0 0.4 0 0.4 then it will become negative and maximum value of negative and 0 will be 0 so this de x delta 1 this implies that x delta 1 x is equal to 0 but if x is greater than 1 by 2 and obviously less than 1 this implies that x is greater than 2x minus 1 because x is less than 1 so 2x uh, two, uh, two will also be less than 1 so x is greater than 2x minus 1 so we again apply delta we get x delta 1 x delta 1 x we will get maximum of 2x minus 1 comma 0 plus x minus 1 comma 0 so this will be equal to maximum of we add it it will we will get 2x minus 1 plus x minus 1 comma 0 this will become maximum of 3x minus 2 comma 0 so this x power 3 will become it is x delta x delta x so delta 1 it will becomes sorry it is x square x square it will become max of 3x minus 2 comma 0 this implies that 3x minus 2 is less than 2x minus 1 it is less than x similarly if we apply one more delta we will get 4x minus 3 is less than 3x minus 2 is less than 2x minus 1 less than x so on if we go in this way we will get nx minus n minus 1 this will be less than n minus 1 x minus n minus 2 this will be less than and so on it will be go to less than x so this implies that x power n is equal to maximum of n x minus n minus 1 comma 0 so in this way so in this way we get so we get positive n such that we will get n such that n x minus n minus 1 becomes negative becomes negative so if it becomes negative then maximum of 0 and negative number it will be 0 this implies that x power n is equal to 0 this implies that delta 1 is nilpotent T no nilpotent which complete theorem so in this way we can show that delta is nilpotent similarly one more exercise we can show that prove that delta node is nilpotent e norm so 
means x delta node y is equal to min of x y if max of x y is equal to 1 otherwise it becomes 0. So, let we take max of x y is equal to 1. That means y is equal to 1. So, this implies that x is not equal to 1. This implies that maximum of x x is not equal to 1. This implies that x delta node x is equal to 0. Implies that x power 2 will become 0. This implies that delta node is nilpotent T node. Nilpotent T node. We can prove it in this way because we know that min of x y will be the uh, smallest number, so minimum number will be the uh, will go down, and in this way we can get that uh, x square is nilpotent. Now the next definition is zero divisor. A fuzzy number A belongs to 0 1 is called 0 divisor of T norm delta. If there exist B belongs to 0 1 such that a delta b is equal to 0. Then we say that a is 0 divisor of t norm delta. If there is b belongs to 0 1 and here the 0 1 is open interval that means a and b cannot be 0 and not either 1. It will be between 0 and 1 interval. Now we prove a theorem. if delta is strictly monotone then it has no zero divisor then it has no zero divisor So, prove it now. We suppose that let delta is strictly monotone. We have to show that We have to show that delta has no zero divisor. So, since it is strictly monotone, if 
x is greater than 0 and y is less than z. This implies that x delta y is less than x delta z. This is the given condition. Let a belongs to 0 1 interval. E 0 1 is open interval so that means a is not equal to 0 and either a is not equal to 1. Let a belongs to 0 1 is 0 divisor of delta. We suppose on contrary that a belongs 0 1 is 0 divisor of delta. If there exists b belongs to 0 1 such that a delta b is equal to 0 by condition of 0 divisor because we are supposing that a is 0 divisor of delta so a delta b is equal to 0. We suppose that it has 0 divisor. Uh, this implies that a delta b is equal to 0 where a b both belongs to 0 1 open term. Take, take we take two numbers b over 2 less than b and a is less than equal to a. Now we apply the t4 condition of t norm, 4 condition of t norm we see that a delta b over 2 is less than or equal to a delta b. Okay. But we know that a delta b is equal to 0 as we have discussed uh, in the last slide. A is, so, this means a delta b over 2 is less than or equal to 0 but a and b are fuzzy numbers and no and uh, d norm of fuzzy numbers cannot be less than 0 cannot be negative. So, this shows that a delta b over 2 is equal to 0. So, this which is contradiction which is we get contradiction because we say that delta is uh, strictly monotone contradiction to strictly monotone. because we know that a b over 2 is less than b. So, a delta b over 2 should be less than a delta b, but it is again it is 0 a delta b is 0 and a delta b over 2 is again 0. So, it is not strictly monotone we get contradiction this implies that our supposition is wrong this implies delta has no 0 divisor. Which completes the proof. Thank you.